Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Jodea students. My name is Captain Bill Sauer of the 11th Engineer Battalion, and I'm the construction officer there. Show them, cats! I'm here today to join you, Sace, in teaching you more about STEM and its applications in the real world. Specifically, we're going to be talking about structural survivability and how it keeps soldiers safe. Our experiment is going to focus on how to keep an egg safe from a long fall using structural survivability. Before we begin, Staff Sergeant Heacock of the 11th Engineer Battalion is going to show you how the Husky, a mine detection vehicle, can take a hit from an explosive mine while also using or keeping soldiers safe from harm. Staff Sergeant Heacock? Hello everybody, my name is Staff Sergeant Heacock. I'm stationed with the 11th Engineer Battalion, Jungle Cats. Uh, today we're going to highlight some of the features of the Husky. Uh, the Husky is a family of vehicles and the MRAP, Mine Resistant Ambush Protective Family. So the Husky's main features that improve its survivability are its V-hole. This is important because the V-shape of the hole disperses a lot of the energy that comes from the blast. Also, in combat operations, the Husky will have a Kevlar lining on the side of it. That Kevlar lining is designed to help improve the and absorb more of the energy that comes from the blast. The last major survivability feature that the Husky has is its breakaway front and rear modules. The modules break away during an explosion which helps absorb more of that energy and sends it away from the drive. This is the V-shaped hole that we were talking about earlier. So the effectiveness of the V-shaped hole comes from its ability to disperse the energy of the explosion away from the vehicle. This is going to be an important feature for you guys to think about while you're building your eggs, your egg protection devices, and how you can use the principles of different angles to help absorb and redirect the energy. Thank you, Staff Sergeant Heacock, for that expert explanation. Now, you might be wondering how to keep this egg safe from a fall. Eggs already have an oval shape that protects it from breaking when a chicken sits on it, right? An egg is not as strong when it's on its side. Oh no. Right. So, that is something to think about as you create your design. Using common household materials, your challenge would be to construct something that can absorb the kinetic energy or the uh, energy that comes from an abrupt stop uh, from hitting the ground. Basically, the idea is to create something like a pillow to keep your egg from breaking. Just like the Army designed the Husky to absorb or deflect harmful energy. So. Let's go build our creations and see how they perform. So, for my design, I use a box and a few other materials here to construct my design. In the engineering design process, we plan, create, and then test. So, let's go ahead and test. It's time to drop this egg and see if my design works. Ready? I'm very excited to see if my egg survived without any cracks. And for anybody that can reverse design, good on you. All right. It seems my egg made it from a six foot drop. It'd be exciting to see how far your egg can drop and make it. Make sure you check with your parents and don't drop it on anybody that can hurt, get hurt, or anything like that. Thank you very much for uh, spending your time with me. It's been wonderful. Once again, I'm Captain Bill Sauer from the 11th Engineer Battalion. Jungle Cats! Y'all have a great day.